official YouTube. Welcome back to the channel with some more Forza Motorsports. Now, guys, we're back on the Xbox Series S as always, and we're just edging 920. As in the last video, I did have some intermittent shift issues. Sorry, I've got a fever. We did have some intermission, intermittent uh, shift issues, so it was literally skipping gears. So I fixed that. Um, this is the Nissan Pulsar GTI R. Um, I've literally been building and tuning this car um, as it was one of my all time favourite cars in uh, Gran Turismo 2. Um, I'm quite disappointed that uh, Gran Turismo 7 doesn't have um, that, that many older cars. Uh, luckily, Forza Motorsport, they have brought quite a few older cars back through, um, which I'm really, really pleased of. Uh, I think what we'll do, really quickly, we'll just exit out of this. I'll just show you what we're driving today. Show you the exact spec of the car. Um, I want to say a massive shout out to all the subscribers, all the existing ones who've been here from that day all the new ones who have subscribed over the last few weeks and months. Thank you guys so much. So this is the 1990 Nissan Pulsar GTI R. All wheel drive, we've not done anything with the uh, drivetrain, as in not putting it front wheel drive, not putting it rear wheel drive, Just keeping it all wheel drive. Car's absolutely phenomenal. Uh, we're keeping the stock engine. Um, we've got 301 horsepower. We've got 378 new meters of torque. We have 1,185 pounds of weight of the car. Um, I think it's a really good car, to be honest. Um, I've been racing it as I've been tuning it. Um, we have got it up to a B-Class 598. Um, and the overall tune, performance, everything, the building tune will be at the end of this race, so stay tuned for that, guys. Um, I really do like Laguna. We're going to sec is really nice. Um, let's see. Um, with the new Forza Motorsports update that we've just had, uh, there have been a lot of changes to the actual AI and the way they drive. Because uh, it was really irritating when you were racing and the cars would just slam up. Uh, I think we'll just go to Laguna, to be honest. Um, if you like the content, if you like the videos, smash the subscribe button, smash the like button. Every subscriber, every like, every comment helps the channel grow so much. If you enjoyed the video, you've got questions to ask about one of the games we play on the channel, please feel free to drop that in the comments section down below. I do try to respond back to all the comments as soon as I've seen them. Uh, please bear with me as we will be upgrading the camera and so forth and everything we're going to get more actual real gameplay for you guys and um, i'm probably going to go for one of them gopro sort of body harness things um yeah so let's just fly straight into it uh, if you are smashing that subscribe button don't forget to hit the bell notification icon to get notifications on all the new videos as soon as they hit the channel um, without further much ado Let's get racing, guys. So I must say I'm really, really pleased with the devs actually oh, tweaking the AI for it, guys, because it has been pretty rough. Um, not carrying the speed through, brake checking quite a lot, uh, braking on points where you just carry pace through. And making racing in a single player offline not that much fun to be honest the competition but with the new Forza Motorsports update that's all been changed and I must say that they have done really really well uh, again guys if we go quiet it's literally just been concentrating so again guys, this building tune will be at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. If there's any builds, uh, tunes for Grand Turismo 7, Forza Motorsports, 
and we are literally just installing Forza Horizon 5 back onto that Xbox Series S. As uh, to be honest, uh, you can really only fit like two games at most on the hard drive. I'm depending on the speed of the external hard drive. So I just had to move Forza Horizon 5 completely off. Let's get some places here guys, sorry about this. I don't really talk and race very well. So I'm probably just going to go silent for maybe a lap. Um, in fifth place. So not doing too bad. Uh, with this tune, we've gone for quite high settings on the anti-dive, on the suspension geometry, um, front and back. Uh, but you'll see that in the tune. Um, I think. Yeah, yeah, the suspension geometry, the anti dive is just fantastic. Yeah, guys, the problem I was having with the shifter, um, it was literally skipping gears. Uh, I did have a look through YouTube and it did just say probably fault with the actual button. So I uh, found out a little bit of foam kicking around from the move, um, and I've literally attached that in between the paddle shifter and the back of the wheel um, just so the actual paddle shifter doesn't have that much travel in it it literally only travels to where it engages to register shifting up you can't go no further so I fixed that as at the moment Sim racing wheel upgrade is not really something. I've got a few more bits we need to do in the YouTube room, so stay tuned for vlog number two. But again, guys, the 1990 Nissan Pulsar GTI R, uh, one of my most favourite cars from Grand Theft Auto. Um, It's just fantastic. It uh, really, really plays this tune. Um, overall, great handling. Uh, great distribution, balancing. Even if you're a bit late into your corners. Yeah, yeah. Really, really good. Um, so again, guys, this full build and tune will be at the end of the video. Stay tuned for that. Again, if there's any builds or tunes you guys would like to see, Please feel free to drop that in the comment section down below. I do try to respond back to every comment as soon as I've seen them. Um, and other than that guys, yeah, really enjoying Forza Motorsports on Xbox Series S. Uh, definitely going to be going back to Grand Turismo 7, so stay tuned for that. Um, I know I say it all the time guys, but Stay tuned for regular uploads as of today. So I'm going to try and do a, no, I don't know, maybe two videos a day. We'll see how this one goes. Um, at the moment, Freddy, uh, if you guys out there have any 
video editing software that you'd like to suggest to me, please feel free to drop that in the comment section down below. Uh, at the moment we're using Lightworks, I really really like it, it's pretty good. Um, be nice just to see what other options are out there, to be fair. Because the only thing I've found with Lightworks for a video editing software is the, uh, I don't know if it's just me, I haven't been able to find the setting. They can't really edit in uh, sort of keyframes, you know, like frame by frame in the video, they can't zoom in that far into it. So it's not actually making the video, as in recording it or building the car that's taking so long in uploads. It's literally just syncing the two recordings up. Uh, so again guys, if there's any advice out there on an easy way to sync my two recordings up, uh, my gameplay and my real play, uh, please drop that in the comment section down below. <laughs> and again, I've turned off the track limits, I've turned off the braking lines. Um, I drive on a set of horses without any of that stuff, and I just felt like in Forza Motorsports, um, the game's been out long enough. You guys have played it probably a lot. You know, where your braking lines are, where your uh, track limits are. And again, guys, I can't talk and uh, race clean at the same time. So, um, it's last lap anyway. Very, very well balanced tune. It's really, really pleased with it. Really, really pleased. Oh! <laughs> Yeah guys, if you're enjoying the content, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button. Feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below what you think to the build, what you think to the tune. If there's any builds or tunes that you guys would like to see on the channel that we haven't put on there yet, please drop that in the comment section down below. Um, it's always nice to have input from you guys out there and subscribe to the community. So yeah guys, uh, thanks for stopping by, stay tuned for the next video, um, stay tuned for the build and tune, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below, until the next video, happy racing, stay safe, peace.